good. Use this pillow for support. Hold myself up a little bit. Good morning. Here we'll do a little morning chat. Oh, it's so nice and bright now. Uh, so dark a second ago, and I am very, very tired. So I'm like, lay down, try to nap a little bit, or get up. But if you know me, I'm more of like, okay, time to get up type of person. Figured I'll give you a little bit of a recap of last night and everything. First off, in good news, my blood sugar was 91 this morning, so I think I'm gonna just have to cut the carbs completely. We were trying to see if I could lower them by still just like eating really healthy and still eating healthy carbs, but it wasn't working. So fortunately it looks like I'll just have to like cut those carbs completely. Normally it wouldn't be that big of a deal, but I am like starving. So I just need to try to eat more and more often. Obviously we've been gone, so it's been a little limited what I could eat. This morning I'm still having my peanut butter smoothie like with a fourth of banana and then let me recap yesterday. As you know, I said I was in a lot of pain. The first night I'll walk you through with the event. So this event honors like people in aerospace, astronauts, sorry Kyle texted me, He's waiting for breakfast. It honors astronauts and pilots and people that just do really, really amazing things and the first night was like the cocktails and hors d'oeuvres to honor them and they gave out awards and so and it was in a museum and you like mingle and sorry and talk to people i was able to meet a lot of people from kyle's company and he was able to meet like some other people from his company so that was really cool and just hearing these people like senators got awards at this one and stuff like that and then the f second night Air Force Museum which was so cool some point it'd be cool to have a wheelchair and go in and see it all because all the planes it's pretty amazing like the person that created like the like the box that helps tell pilots like pull up like safety they were honored um, they were passed away now but family members accepted the honor my favorite was Frederick and Catherine from Hidden Figures and her two of her daughters accepted the award on her behalf and that was amazing I love that movie and love her story so it was really cool to see her inducted into this Hall of Fame we also got to take a picture and meet an astronaut so really really cool the first hour was very I was having a very hard time walking because of my pain already and it was very very warm in there and I literally <laughs> had like sweat dripping down my leg and I could not tell I was like is my water breaking because like I've just never experienced that before and I was so like numb and my feet after being home and having my feet up were so swollen so cool to meet so many people and everyone was so nice because it's like a very like mingling event so after we met the astronaut, I left Kyle and some of his coworkers who was talking with the astronaut and I went and I found there was a stool and I sat and whoever I sat by got to chat and talk about what they've, how long they've been coming to this and what they do and so it was just a lot of fun. And we walked into one of the huge hangars, got to see all the like planes that weren't like covered up from the stage. There was a dinner and I was starving so I had Thankfully there was food that I could have. There was salad and it was really good. Like they had a piece of roast beef, mashed potatoes, and green beans. I was like, eat the mashed potatoes. You've not had enough food and I don't think it'll be too many carbs. I was a little nervous because that was the one thing I used to eat a lot right now was every day to help my nausea. And it tasted so good and it didn't raise it and I was 91 this morning so I'm grateful. So it definitely seems like I can handle at least like one carb a day just maybe just one the banquet was quite long we got there at six had that hour thing and then um the banquet program was like half of it and then you you ate a little bit and then the other half so it went till 10 30 but we were we had a really good view and it was like recorded i think it's even put on their website like our picture taken so i want to look on the website to see if i can see our photo and with the backdrop it's but whatever it is it's considered like their oscars really fun it was really cool to make it a baby moon and go even though it was like very very hard kyle was like i cannot believe you did all this and i really wanted to for him and i knew it was our last thing and we've not we don't get to you know go places and get dressed up and stuff like that and 
it was so sweet so many people were like you are glowing and it's funny just the pain you feel and stuff but from the outside you just smile and you know but it was so fun to be dressed up sweet of my friend to let me borrow her dress everyone just looked so beautiful kind of make friends from the first night to the second night met some people from seattle who even accepted an award a family member and like saw pictures of their child and you know they asking us about ours and it's funny like being in our 30s i i mean i know we're still young don't get me wrong but i'm not 21 anymore you know i'm not the age 23, 25, 26, 27. I'm not that age that we initially thought that we'd have children. So it's kind of funny to go and kept being like, people kept being like, you guys are the young people at the event and the young and your first child and all this stuff. We're like in our like normal circle. I feel like the older people. So it's kind of funny. They had a kids choir come and sing the national anthem and it was beautiful. It gave me goosebumps. Um, the, one of the ladies that was honored, um, she started a huge thing for women pilots and astronauts and so i think it's really cool that in our hotels like that airplane that, you know if you fly a lot of these people worked on things that make flying safe and available it's pretty pretty neat go home a pretty big week honestly think i'm probably ready to step down from work i had friends be like yeah a month before my due date i was nesting and and you can't do a lot of that, so I would think you'd want time. I was like, yeah, especially, prayerfully, I don't need to go to a specialist now since I was able to lower my numbers. Oh, hello, baby. I think we'll be gone before my two hours are up. Unfortunately, I had eggs that I could have, but I think I'll just have to wait till I get home. But I still have beef sticks. I went ahead and ordered more because I'm like, I gotta have those. The Paleo Valley, they're expensive, but they're really good quality and they're good for you. So, gonna do whatever I can. Okay. I'm gonna get dressed. Oh, what I was saying is I have a big week. I'm subbing on Monday. <laughs> Kyle said they're out of salmon. He had a really nice looking breakfast yesterday. Let me show you what he had. Going back and forth on these car seats, you guys. I need to order them. This doesn't that look good. That's what he had yesterday. My back is starting to really hurt. The support's only going so far. Which will be fun to see a lot of my little girls have not been able to see it all. And then Wednesday, I think I do need to be there. But then next week I have my ultrasound to check baby girl's kidney location. But my doctor's not there that day. So then the next day I am going to her for a follow-up. But I think by October I'm gonna stop um, and maybe do it here and there. But see, I keep saying it. it's like my, my body's ready to be done, but my heart is not. <laughs> we'll see, I am the one that like created the dances and stuff. So I do need to like with the, my helpers so they can know what to do and how to teach it. Kyle has been busy looking at a vehicle. He might actually look at it tonight. So might have found a vehicle. Crazy that baby girl is going to be here soon. So I'm excited. I'm nervous. I appreciate all the prayers. Sometimes when I'm out and about and I'm hurting, you know, I'm often like, it can be hard not to be like, how am I going to do this? How am I going to do this? It's like, like you have done it every day for your whole life, but especially the past 10 years and way more than that. But this hard of pain and sickness you won't be heavily pregnant and having health issues and um there's stuff that i can do to feel better too and i'll have help and we'll have a beautiful baby girl so prayers for my body for health and strength for delivery labor all of that and be overwhelming when you're not a normal able-bodied person um, I don't love saying that, but just in a broad spectrum, you know what I mean. I need to stop talking. That was a lot. I hope you guys enjoyed. We're going to get packed up, changed, head home, see the kitties, and um, continue on this really, really low-carb diet. Oh, I got to stop. I want to start packing up so we can head home. Just changed into comfy clothes that I don't think are going to fit for too much longer. <laughs> Make it through 31 weeks. I decided I'm just going home. No makeup or jewelry. I think to help replenish, I'm going to make an electrolyte. Okay. I really like the LMNT electrolytes. Still have flavors, still have citric acid. I don't love the best ones. It seemed to be, um, just ingredients 
but while staying low carb, these are really good. I still drink the Go Ultimas because I have them and they're less expensive, but I really like these. I'd like to get some of these specifically for when we're in, for the hospital. Oh, it hurts in a little bit. My heart is palpitating, but that's normal. Bon voyage, Kyle. Thanks for staying with us. That's cool. Um, I had to get off my feet. They're starting to get swollen again. I don't know if that's new and gonna stay or if that's just because of yesterday and the past two days. Just turn on the little Gilmore Girls and, oh, it's a child, and um, rest a little bit until he comes back. Or maybe some real estate. She's so big. Okay, I sat down for like five minutes. Kyle's back, so he's finishing the rest of the packing. Let's see if I can catch her moving for you guys. Right now you can definitely feel little kicks. Whoa, see that? Lots of like, instead of like kicks now, I mean there's still kicks, but it's lots of like rotations and then feeling things way over here and then way up here now that she's bigger. Videos where it's just like bloop, bloop, bloop. <laughs> Love her so much already. Oh. We're headed home. We got to see our friends from Seattle and it was cute. We were like, congratulations. We're like, you guys too. <laughs> All packed, ready to go, ready to go home.